All right, let's move on. Then we have once again a sequence of two hands. Both are bubble hands, and um, I have a big stack, eighteen man bubble, and the semi aggressive random guy opens, makes a min raise, and it falls to me. And I have the nuts. I have nine deuce. I have nine deuce off. So um, I do remember that this guy had stats of someone who does steal a fair bit, and I did assume he had some sort of reggish, reggish stats. So I did assume that he's going to fold a fair bit to three bets. So do I jam here? No. Uh, is it? Pl would it be plus CV to jam here? Maybe because if this guy is opening seventy percent and folding. 95% of the time into three bets, which could actually be the scenario. There are a lot of players out there who are who play like that in this situation. Yeah, I can jam over with any two, but uh, I can pretty much accomplish the same thing by just making a smaller three bet, and he's going to fold a ton preflop, which already I think will make this uh, already plus CV in a vacuum. But even if he calls. It's, he's he's facing a massive, massive, massive ICM pressure. And I'm going to fire a C-bet on any flop, and I do expect that I'm getting at least 60-70% of folds. So I don't actually mind if he calls. It's it's even it's just going to make this whole system a little bit juicier. But uh, he does end up folding, which is nice. At least uh, there's actually a meta game uh, situation as well. Not only did he fold now, but not but he's also going to think twice before opening the next time. So which will leave me to own this bubble in peace. However, you cannot do this unless uh, if you have a read that uh, latent threat is a. If I remember right, a Russian reg. He's very good. Uh, he's one of the one of the most annoying uh, annoying regulars around because he's absolutely capable of everything, uh, including this uh, four bet jamming with ten seven suited. So if you have a read on someone that he's capable of doing this, um, that you have a dynamic where I've been, uh, he's doing this because he thinks that I do this a lot with air. Which is true, but just not against him. Because I know that I did expect that he's capable of doing something like this. So that's also why I don't shove, but I just make the uh, smaller inducing 3-bet. Because I do expect that he's capable uh, of uh, of chumming over with, with very mediocre hands. So... Uh, it, once again, we don't play poker with uh, with a standard robotic system that we apply against absolutely everyone. There are differences in players, and and there are very big differences in in how people play in different spots. So uh, I would never even think about doing this, even on a bubble situation against against that guy or anyone like him. There's there's a few guys out there, and I'm fairly conscious of who they are because I mean I'm just gonna spew. He's gonna jam over with. I don't. I might have some fold equity, but not enough to make this make this profitable. So, so uh, yeah, have reads, act accordingly. That's how we play profitable poker.